Hi dear students, welcome to Geeta's classes. So in this class we are going to solve the differential equation, exact differential equation in M2. This is in the first unit and throughout this unit we are going to solve first order equation, first order differential equations and first we will see first order and first degree also. So in the previous class I have explained order and degree in a clear way. Uh, so if you want you can go through that class and understand try to understand what is order and degree okay so an equation of the form dy by d so how many times it is differentiated only once that is why it is first order what is the power of this maximum is dy by dx first order only and power is also one that is why it is first order first degree differential equation okay so dy by dx is equal to f of x comma y this is of the form this is called the first order first degree differential equation now it is of uh, four kinds generally we can categorize into four uh, different uh, different types one is variable separable homogeneous equations and reducible to homogeneous form exact differential equation and reducible to exact form linear equation and bernoulli's equation okay and the first two already you have studied in your intermediate and now our syllabus starts from exact differential equation now let us see what is exact differential equation before that I want to make you understand what is the meaning of this exact. Suppose if I am given the function y is equal to sin x plus c. Let us take this as the, uh, this is the given relation. Now, if you differentiate with respect to x, we will be getting dy by dx is equal to, dy by dx is equal to what? Cos x, right? Now, equation 2 is the differential equation. How did you form this uh, second uh, differential equation? We have just differentiated equation number 1 without performing any other operation. In this case, now, if uh, the given equation is, if you are asked to solve dy by dx, this is not given. If uh, the equation is solved, dy by dx is equal to cos x. What, how will you do? Just by integrating, integrating the left hand side, you will be getting y and cos x is sin x plus c right now just integrating both the sides we will be getting sin y is equal to sin x plus c so if the differential equation is formed from the given relation without performing any other operation just by differentiating then uh, you will be able to solve the differential equation just by integrating okay in that case in this case this is called the differential second is called the Differential equation which is exact. Exactly it is only the differentiation of. This you now you can write dy by dx is equal to cos x. It is d of. dy Cos x can be written as d of sin x. Right. Differentiation of sin x. You can write it as d by dx of sin x also. d by dx of sin x. That is why. That is why it is called exact. In this case all the exact differential equations can be integrated directly and find the solution okay and now uh, now we go i have given you one small example simple example y is equal to sin x and dy by dx is equal to cos x definitely you are not going to get such a simple equation in the exam right so dy by dx is equal to some complicated functions will be there then how will you uh, identify whether it is exact or not that's why there is a some there is some procedure we'll see now, now you will be able to understand a differential equation of the form m of x comma y dx. Generally, we write m dx plus n dy, but the, it is understood that it is a function of x and y. You can have both x and y as coefficient of dx. Similarly, n of x comma y. Capital N means it can be a function of x and y. Is equal to 0. Is said to be exact if its LHS member. LHS member is what? m of x comma y dx plus n of x comma y dy is equal to 0 is said to be exact if its LHS member is the exact differential of some function u of x comma y that is du if this can be written as du is equal to m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 actually this can be written as differential of some function of x comma y that is the meaning okay if you can write like this then it is called exact differential equation in that case, what is the solution? As we have seen in the example, its solution is u of x comma y is equal to c. The relation between x and y. That is the solution of this uh, differential equation. Hope you understood. Uh, now, 
just by seeing this you cannot find out uh, for complicated functions you cannot find out just like that so we want some condition to check okay so the condition for exactness is the necessary and sufficient condition for the differential equation m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 to be exact is dou m by dou y first one with respect to y and a second one with respect to x okay always we start with x and y now remember like this dou m by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x first to start with ulta you uh, generally we start with x and y right here m dx is there but you have to differentiate partially with respect to y similarly n dy so you take n and differentiate partially with respect to x if they are equal then definitely this equation will be exact if it is exact these two will be equal okay that is the meaning necessary and sufficient condition means if and only if if this is true this is true if this second condition is true first condition is true so we are going to check in the problem we are going to check this only dou m by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x okay if they are equal then we can say that it is uh, they are if it is uh, if they are equal it is exact the equation is said to be exact now how to find out this solution so method of solution is very simple it is very easy so method of solution is given by the solution of the exact differential equation m dx plus n dy Gender, this is the general form m dx plus n dy is equal to 0 is given by integral this you have to remember integral m dx plus in when you are differentiating integrating with respect to x you have to treat y as a constant okay you have to treat y as a constant and integral uh, terms of n terms of n not containing x in the integrand we are going to consider into dy is equal to constant. We are not going to consider capital N as a whole. Here you have to consider m as a whole and you have to treat when you are integrating treat y as a constant. Generally for single integral only one variable you will have no. So with respect to x you are going to integrate treating y as a constant. And here terms of n not containing x into dy. So independent of x whatever terms are there you have to consider only that terms if those terms are not available just zero ignore it okay so provided when will you write this provided what is the given condition necessary and sufficient condition dou m by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x dou m by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x okay so now let us see the problems one by one Solve e power y plus 1 into cos x dx is e plus e power y into sin x dy is equal to 0. It is in this form m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. What is m here? Coefficient of dx. Before without dx whatever is there you write that. e power y. Another important point m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. Sometimes it will be given m dx is equal to n dy. In that case, you have to bring it to the left hand side. Okay. So, after writing this mdx plus ndy is equal to 0 only, you can uh, use this, apply these formulas. So, e power uh, y plus 1 into cos x. And what is n? e power y sin x into sin x. That's all. e power y into sin x. Now, what you have to do? Dou m by dou y. Partial differentiation uh, with respect to y. In that case, when you are in, uh, differentiating partially with respect to y, you have to treat x as a constant. So, dou m by dou y is equal to e power y. Here, you, if you want, you can write this as two terms. This is equal to e power y cos x plus cos x you can write. Okay. Uh, to make you understand, I am writing this. Dou m by dou y is equal to e power y. Differentiation is e power y only. And plus cos x is with respect to x. This is to be treated as a constant, right? So, it will become 0. Got it? Now, so e power x cos x only. What is dou n by dou x? It is e power y. e power y is to be treated as constant. Sin x should be differentiated with respect to x. 
So e power y into cos x. What about dou m by dou y? E power y cos x. Dou n by dou y also. E power y cos x. Therefore, dou m by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x. Therefore, it is the given equation is exact. Given differential equation is exact. So, if it is exact, it is very easy directly writing the solution only. What is the solution? Integral. You have to treat y as a constant. You have to write m dx. m dx plus terms of n not containing x. Not containing x into dy is equal to constant. This is the general solution. General solution is m dx plus etc. That is now integral. What is m? Uh, e power y plus 1 into cos x. So m should be written as it is. E power y plus 1 into cos x dx. Treating y as constant. Plus in the second one. What are the terms not containing x? Here you have. In n, you have sin x. So, it is containing x. So, you don't consider. Only one term is there in n. Therefore, it is 0 only. Okay. Is equal to constant. Now, e power y should be treated as constant only. So, e power y uh, x plus 1 into x cos x. Sorry. With respect to x, wait, wait. That is integral of. e power y plus 1, it is a constant. Cos x is to be, e power y is a constant, 1 is also constant. Cos x, if you differentiate, you will be getting sin x, right? Is equal to constant. This is the answer. Is the general solution. Why is it a general solution? Uh, the order of the differential equation is 1 and we have only one constant. Okay, that is why it is called the general solution. Is the general solution. Next question. Y in 2. Now directly I will write. But in the exam you write in the first uh, question. Whatever I have written. All the steps should be written here. Okay. So M is equal to. Y into 1 plus 1 by X. Plus cos Y. N is equal to. X plus log X. Minus X sin Y. What is dou m by dou y? 1 plus here. With respect to y, we are integrating. So, 1 plus 1 by x is to be treated as a constant uh, plus differentiating. Therefore, it is minus sin y. With respect to y, we are differentiating, treating x as a constant. So, 1 plus 1 by x is a constant. Uh, y, if you differentiate, you will be getting 1. That is why I have written 1 plus 1 by x. Minus of cos y, if you differentiate, minus sin y. Okay. What about dou n by dou x? Here, with respect to x. So, 1 plus log x, if you differentiate, 1 by x, minus sin y. x is, uh, y is to be treated as constant because we are partially differentiating with respect to x. Okay. Therefore, dou m by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x. Therefore, it is exact differential equation. Okay. Therefore, the solution is general solution is you can you have to write the formula here. I am not writing because of the first question I have written. So, for exam, please write. Now, for practice, you need not write, but exam you have to write. Okay. So, y 1 plus 1 by x into y plus cos y into dx treating y as constant into dx plus what are the uh, terms not containing x no first term you have x second term you have x third term is also having x so don't consider anything so it will be 0 is equal to constant now you have to integrate with respect to x so if you integrate first one is x plus log x into y y is a constant Constant means if it is a number 5 or 10, if it is there, what will you do? The same thing you have to apply here, okay? And cos y, if you uh, differentiate, sorry, integrate, what will you get? Plus, with respect to x, so cos 
x into cos y. Cos y is to be treated as a constant and you are integrating with respect to x. So, plus x cos y is equal to constant. This is the answer. Okay. Next question. Solve 1 plus 2 xy cos x squared minus etc. So, I am going to do directly m is equal to uh, this one. m n is equal to sin x squared minus x squared. So, dou m by dou y. dou m by dou y is equal to uh, first one with respect to y so first is constant 0 and with respect to y means 2x into cos x squared right minus 2x into 1 so 2x only this is dou m by dou y what is dou n by dou x please write what is m what is n and all okay in the exam so sin x squared with respect to x you have to differentiate so sin means cos x squared and function of function rule that is 2x x squared if you differentiate you will be getting 2x squared 2x minus 2x that is 2x into cos x squared minus 2x that shows that dou m by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x right therefore exact differential equation the given differential equation is exact therefore the solution is or general solution is integral of m dx. m dx is what? 1 plus 2xy cos x squared minus 2xy into dx plus second term n is not having uh, any term with respect to uh, all the terms are having x therefore we are not going to consider and here you have to treat y as a constant. Right? So this is x with respect to x you have to integrate. So x plus you can take y into integral cos x squared into 2x right into dx that is differential of this one dx minus 2y into y into integral 2x dx is equal to constant that will become x plus y into cos x squared this is sin x squared cos x squared into 2x is there therefore you have to integrate only cos x squared so it is sin x squared for example if you have any doubt just to differentiate what is d by dx of sin x squared if you differentiate what will you get sin you have to differentiate first that is cos x squared into x squared should be differentiated again that is 2x right so 2x cos x squared that is why we have written directly there y sin x squared minus y into 2 x squared by 2, 2, 2 will get cancelled. y x squared is equal to constant. This is the solution. Okay. If you have any doubt in the uh, any, in any steps, please post it. I will give you the clarifications. Okay. So, here, uh, here, this is a different thing. They have not given is uh, the equation is not in the form of m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. Right. So, what you have to do is bring this to the other side and multiply dx. Okay. dx also you bring it to the other side. First you write in the form of m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. If you want to check whether it is exact or not, then you have to write it in the form of m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. So, making the proper arrangements that just uh, adjust if adjusting these two, bring this to the other side and dx then bring it to the left hand side. So, you will be getting 3x squared tan y minus cos x because I am going to write dx first. Okay. So, minus cos x into dx uh, plus x cube into secant squared y into dy is equal to 0. You write in the form of m dx plus n dy is equal to 0. Now, this is our m and this is our n. What is dou m by dou y now? 3x squared is a constant. You just write it as it is. 3x squared. And differentiating tan y, you will be getting secant squared y. What about differential of cos x? It is 0. Okay. Then dou n by, because they are differentiating partially with respect to y, x should be treated as a constant. So dou n, next second one, dou n by dou x is 
secant squared y is a constant and the x cube you have to differentiate. So, 3x squared into secant squared y. Now, compare yes, dou m by dou y is equal to dou n by dou x. Therefore, the given differential equation is exact differential equation. Please write in the full form, okay. Now, what is the solution? Directly you can write the solution. Integral of m dx. What is there in m? 3x squared tan y minus cos x, right? So, integral of 3x squared tan y minus cos x into dx plus the terms of y uh, n not containing x. So, it contains x therefore 0 only. And here you have to treat y as a constant. Do not forget to write that is equal to constant. So, here x cube into tan y x cube by 3 only with the tan y is uh, constant ok 3 into x cube by 3 3 3 will get cancelled so x cube into tan y minus cos x if you uh, differentiate integrate you will be getting uh, sin x minus sin x right uh, minus is equal to c Therefore, uh, this is the answer. So, now I will give you some more problems. Is it plus or minus? Minus only. Yeah. I will give you three problems. You please practice. You find the solutions. Okay. And I'll, if you want, I will give you the answers uh, in the next class. Okay. If you want uh, full answers, uh, derivations also, please post it so that I will upload the answers also if you want. And thank you so much for listening. Next we are going to see, next class we will see uh, equations reducible to exact differential equations. Okay, which are not exact, we can reduce them to exact differential equation. And if you like the class, please share it with your friends also so that it will be useful for them. Thank you for listening.